Okay, so I was looking for a game that we haven't played before. Okay. Because uh, we've done uh, trivia games and uh, betting games. And, okay, now we're going to do Movie Family Feud. Okay, so a hundred people have answered questions, and you try to guess the answer that has the most points. Okay? Okay. So we're just doing the one that has the most points? We're not trying to do the whole list? Not the whole list. Huh. Uh, we have ten questions to go through. So I ask the question, you buzz first, you give your answer, plus you get a chance to give the next answer. And then it goes to the other guy to give two answers. Okay? okay. And I'll keep track of the points and then we'll move on from there. Okay. All right? Hmm. Your ball. Ah! <laughs> okay, coffee everywhere. That was my next coffee. Damn it. Name a top grossing movie of the 2000s. Iron Man. Of the 2000s? Yeah. So what would people say? Not what you think it is. What would people out there say? <laughs> the 2000s. Uh, Avatar. Ding, ding, ding. That was hmm. second on the list. 15 points. What was first? I still got another answer. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> let's go with Titanic. Of the 2000s. So you already answered once, so you get one more shot. I can't remember any movies in the 2000s. Um, Jurassic Park. No. Okay. Top five answers were Lord of the Rings, Avatar, no. Finding Nemo, Shrek, Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, I could see Lord of the Rings. Yeah, okay. Okay, number two. Name a sitcom that has always seems to be rerunning on TV. Friends. That's second on the list. That's what I was going to say. 22 points. Seinfeld. Third on the list with 11 points. You can still get number one. I'm just, now I can't think of anything. <laughs> Family Guy. Does that count? It does. Okay, you get a second shot. Uh, Three's Company. <laughs> First of all, it's never rerunning on TV. <laughs> it is on the oldies <laughs> channel. Uh, would The Office have been one? Uh, that's not a sitcom. Guys, sitcom. I don't I don't watch The Office, so I don't really 30 know what 30-minute show. Okay. Okay, so it was Big Bang Theory was number one. Oh, yeah. oh that's mm -hmm. what I wanted to say. Friends, Seinfeld, Fraser, mm -hmm. Two and a Half Men, the Simpsons, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah, no, I would have, uh, yeah, okay. We'll see a family guy. Okay, question three. Name an actress who doesn't star in enough movies. Based on what people have answered. Name an actress. I know, uh, okay. Sandra Bullock. That's third on the she list. She stars in a ton of movies. Not anymore. Maybe people want her in more movies. I, I still have an answer yet to go, uh, but thanks. Um, I This one's not gonna be on the list. I'm gonna say Natalie Portman. Fourth on the list. Mm. I got third and fourth. You got number one and two still to go. Uh, what's her name, Jennifer Hudson? Is that? That's not uh, the one you're Amy thinking Schumer. of though. Amy Schumer. You think that's a good answer. <laughs> Too late, he said it. <laughs> no, but I, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. You're probably thinking of the other Jennifer. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. That's what I late. meant. Jennifer that Lawrence. was first on the list. <laughs> Jennifer, that's what I meant. Jennifer <laughs> Lawrence. There's Julia Roberts, Sandra Bullock, Natalie Portman, Kira Knightley, and Angelina Jolie. So you're not going to give that to me? No. <laughs> when you say the wrong name? Because there is a Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> yeah, but, but I was thinking Lawrence. <laughs> I knew you were. <laughs> hey, hands on your buzzers. Name a Disney princess. Jasmine. That is the third answer on the list. Cinderella. Number one. Yeah. Uh, Snow White. What? She's not a princess. <laughs> yes, she is. Is she? I don't think she's a princess. Yes, of course she is. <laughs> Why? Is They're she, all Disney princesses. Is she royalty? Yes. Okay, maybe she is. Yeah, I don't know. she does. That's the reason she's chased out of the castle. Okay. I just thought because she was the prettiest in the land, or the fairest in the land. And... No. Okay, I mean, that is a privilege. You should be able to but... get this, so. Still got one and two. Um, Ariel. Ding, 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 that's second on the list. Who's number one? Frozen. No, I already said. It was Cinderella. Oh, okay. I thought Frozen would have been up there. Elsa. Okay, so it's Cinderella, <laughs> Ariel, 
Jasmine, Belle, and Elsa. Huh. I don't call, consider Belle a princess. She's a village person. She's not a princess. She marries him, who's a duke or something then like that. Then she becomes a princess because she marries but him. But he's right? a duke. He's not a he's not a prince. Hey, listen, he's got his own castle. <laughs> counts. <laughs> All right. Name a famous bear. Yogi. Yes. That's second place. <laughs> I was gonna say it had to be there. Winnie. That's Winnie. fifth place. Paddington. Fourth place. Baloo. Baloo's not there from no, Jungle Book? He's not there. Wow. Okay, so it's Smokey, Yogi, Ted, Paddington, Winnie the Pooh. Ted. Ted. <laughs> That's awesome. So a teddy bear counts as a bear. Name the title of a Harry Potter book or movie. Prisoner of Azkaban. That is number four. And the Sorcerer's Stone. Number two. That was the one I was going to say. You said Prisoner of Azkaban. As Chamber of Secrets. Goblets of Fire. That's number five. So it goes Deathly Hallows, Sorcerer's Stone, Cursed Child, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire. Mm. Name something associated with vampires. You have no idea who got that. No, I don't have any idea. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know? Uh, it was me. It was okay, uh, Mark. Yeah, right. Mark says it was Mark. Okay, go. I'm going to say... Um, garlic. Number four. For two points. And I'm also going to say... Um, sucking blood. Number three for 24 points. Is it called sucking blood? Blood slash drinking okay. blood. Okay, I was, I was going to say blood. Um, coffin. Really? Stupid people, eh? Steak. Like a wooden steak. Wooden steak. Not in a uh, steak you eat. Okay, so. If they say sparkling. <laughs> we'll get this. Okay, number one is bats. Number two is twilight. Yeah. Three, blood, garlic, Buffy, cape, and Dracula. Okay. I can see that. Dracula's the name. It's not an associate so of Buffy. a vampire. Um, Dumb people out there. Name a Disney movie that's been remade. Lion King. Yes. That's what I was going to say. 23 points. And Aladdin. Number two. 17 mm -hmm. points. Both of which I was going to answer. <laughs> well, you have two more choices. Uh, because what's been remade now? Uh, Jungle Book. That's number four. Jumanji. Ooh. Uh, no. no. I would have. I would That's not Disney, is it? Yeah. Is it? Okay. No, it's not. I would have said uh, Beauty and the Beast. That's uh, okay. So. In order goes Lion King, Aladdin, Cinderella, The Jungle Book, Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, and Mulan. Little Mermaid, yeah, okay. Little Mermaid hasn't been yeah, remade yeah, yet. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, we're going on to question nine. Name a top sitcom of the 2000s. Friends. Ding, ding, it's number two. Big Bang Theory. Number one. Fraser. What? <laughs> A bunch of morons out there answer these questions. <laughs> if you answered Fraser, <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it should be box. right. You are a smart person. Um. Well, I get. Well, I got to go with Seinfeld. If they have, <laughs> if they have Family Guy and Simpsons on there, The Big Bang Theory, Friends, How I Met Your Mother, The Office. Two and a half men and the scrubs. The office is in the sitcom. They have scrubs on here. Scrubs. <laughs> oh my god. Last question. Name an actor who started out as an athlete. The Rock. Number one. And uh, I'll say Vin Diesel. What athlete? I don't know. I thought he did. <laughs> oh, um, LeBron James. Uh, I knew they were too early. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, that's number five on the list for two points. Two whole points. <laughs> Way to go, Arnold. 
Okay, so in order, it's The Rock, John Cena, yeah. Shaq, Bruce Lee, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hmm. Was Bruce Lee an athlete? Yeah, no, he's I, a professional yeah, martial, martial artist. artist. Okay, I guess so. Eh? Yeah. As okay. far as Shaq is concerned, I'm surprised. I would have said Michael, Michael Jordan before I would have said Shaq. I only did. I didn't know how long ago these questions were asked, so I no. went with the newest one. Uh, these were asked in 2020. Oh. Okay, so uh, we're going to just cut here so I can calculate the score. Uncle Don, you have a total score in Family Feud of 195 points. Ooh, 195. 195, yeah. And Mark, you have... You win. ...the total score of 215. What? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? And it's not because you answered more correctly. No, it's because the people that of the ones that I did get... There was more people that okay, answered. You got a, one that's 47. Yeah. Well, I, you know, no, I'm going to redo this count here. <laughs> 215 <laughs> for me. Yay. Maybe I forgot to erase Don's score would be when I started adding yours up. <laughs> well, he, he has 25% of my score with one answer out of the true. 20. That's true. I mean, I, mean, I am a... That's a little hard. See, we should have been able to keep going until you miss, like in the real family feud. Well, yeah, but we have... Uh, what type? We have to make it a, a two-person game here. It is. If I miss, then Mark goes. Yeah, but that's kind of unrealistic. Or if Mark misses, then I go. Because then one person runs the board of all the answers. But isn't that how Family Feud goes? <laughs> Listen. No, it's three strikes, right? And we don't have time to play a 30-minute show on a... Listen. No, but we just do one strike. I won. You don't have to be salty. I'm not salty. I'm saying you got 47 points on one answer. That sounds salty when you say it. <laughs> well, it's... A, if I if I answer five of the questions correctly, but my number one point score is thirteen, and then in one question you answer one and you get forty seven, that's Listen, that's a dumb the game. The solution to that the solution to that is answer better questions. No, I only answer the one question that people don't know. Okay, so after a careful recalculation, because it said that Mark won, uh, Mark did in fact win. Wow. And so we spent uh, the last two minutes of Don being salty. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by it's not Table so Salt. I looked over at the scores on the board, and I knew right away I lost, because the very final question, one answer gave Mark 25% of my entire score you out of 10 questions. You should have answered that question. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I knew I lost because <laughs> of that one question. Okay, so wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> okay, coffee everywhere. That was my next coffee. Damn it. <laughs>